All right, welcome back, everybody. This is Spider Inc. We're doing another uh, survival chaos on Warcraft 3. I hope you guys are going to enjoy the show. Hopefully, it's a good one. Um, whether it's us winning or the other team winning, let's just hope it's a good round. The last game I played, I think, was uh, ended up being me as Sorok versus. Uh, an orc on the other side and the orc was like 20 research ahead of me and I couldn't do anything towards that late game so we'll see what uh <clears throat> we'll see what transpires here and uh I wonder if, should I pick a amazing bonus or should I just pick a run-of-the-mill bonus or one I normally don't do um like, it seems like playing defensive is a good tactic, but it's probably pretty boring. If I can be honest, it's probably boring uh, for those who are not playing and just watching. So I'm thinking... I'm thinking it might just... Uh, Go offensive on all my stuff. Sorry. Got a little sidetracked. Um, but yeah, I don't know yet. Don't know yet. Either way, no matter what happens, I hope it's a good one. We have the panda, there's gnome, Farin, and Naga. Don't know too much about the panda other than I think you just. Pick something and hope it works out. I saw a lot of people go this White Tiger Master for the 100% attack speed and cleave. That's pretty good. Even an illusion. A heal. Blue Turtle Master. Royal Cloud Serpent. No, right, let's go late game. Let's go tier four unit replacement. Ooh, he's got Hydra. Or, yeah, the Hydra Hatchlings. That's the range replacement. It's pretty good, in my opinion. We don't know what Torn have yet. So gnomes are uh, straight across. Nagas to my left, Torns to my right. If I upgrade against the Torn, I will capture both neutral buildings. If I go against the Naga, I probably will not. I think I'm pushing out the Tauren. It looks like I might be. So let's do that. Three time damage roll interval. Very random and unpredictable chance based combat skills. Everything is left to the dice roll. Nothing depends on you. So just kick back, relax, sip your drink, and enjoy the show. Okay, so Naga might have actually upgraded against me. Hopefully not. Yes, they did. So I'm glad I didn't go to the left side. I mean, I would have gotten that bonus unit, or the bonus gold right there, but That's okay. This is going to be a horrible spawn. But I do think I might be able to reach. I should be able to reach these when they get here. 
So at least when they get to this, it won't be that bad. Alright, so... I do have to buy a few units. When I say a few, I really mean three. Let's go attack upgrades. Torn is still tier one versus me. He went two fortification research. That might be his undoing right there. Naga went tier 2 middle. Yeah, Torrin's buying quite a few units. You might have to be careful. <laughs> Alright, so let's go tier 2 middle. Let's get that rolling. I'm definitely not going to uh, rush a tier 4 barracks like what I do sometimes. I'll take my time getting there. But I'm preferably going to go tier 4 instead of sending out heroes. Ooh, Naga's going defensive. He's going armor just to try to keep his middle lane there longer, I think. Interesting tactic. I can say I've done that before. So no one has gone against the gnomes yet. No one's gone tier 2 against the gnomes. So I am getting more gold than my opponents. Here shortly they will be within range of my towers. So I'm not going to use a tier 1 spell yet. That's a tier 2 rush on their main base, the Torrens main base. He's got to be playing with hero items. There's no other reason why he would do that. So we can expect to see heroes in the middle lane from the Torrin. Let's just continue researching. As long as my base is attacking, that's cool. Should hopefully be able to hold this. Especially because my base is attacking. Okay, they finally upgraded against the gnome. Torrin's gonna have to be careful of his middle. Yeah, Naga's gonna be pushing through to the gnome. Uh, to the Tauren. He's buying a few units to defend this, uh... What? What is he doing? He's gonna lose his barracks. And then he's probably going to leave. So he must have been completely new. Doesn't know that you need a tier 2 barracks to be able to send out a hero. And because of that, Naga now just gained an extra thousand gold, in as well as already controlling middle.
Well, this is not going to go well. Naga just broke open the game. But then again, you know, whatever. It's kind of exactly what I thought was going to happen. But the Naga's not going towards me, he's going towards the gnomes. The gnomes, who are finally tier 2 metal, are going to have to be careful. And now the gnomes left. And now it's me versus a Naga, who's 2,000 gold ahead of me. This early in the game. Well, I will get those bonus, the bonus structures, I think. Nope, he just got that. So he's also probably going to get this one. Yep. <laughs> Those hydras are... Putting in some nice good work for it. He went to Arcane Aura, so he has tier 2 on his main base. He's now going for tower research. me going tier 3, tier 2 on the main base is probably the better idea. Maybe tier 3 on the right lane. Just so it's pushing. Because what I'm doing right now is not working. Alright, the only thing I can do is go tier 2 on my main base or tier 3 on lanes. So he's been in control of this, these two neutral buildings basically this whole time. Yeah, I never even pushed to his base once. That's just crazy talk. This is going to be another one of those where I'm just going to fall behind on research. So I definitely need tier 2 main base. But then that wave's just going to be pushing in like no other. Yikes. Maybe I just wait and I use a tier 2 spell when all the waves push in. Kind of do like a little mini reset. 
Yeah, I'm getting pushed in on all my lanes. Ten second cooldown. Gonna have to buy a unit or two. And boom. There we go. Let's send a teddy bear, Kyrian. Up oh, out of tier three. Let's summon the Serpent Tamer on the left side. Summons uh, two Serpents. They'll probably die because I think Serpents are air. Need more gold. Those serpents are just doing so good. Alright, so bouncing projectile, yes. That was a hero. Summoned middle. So you probably want tier three along with the hero. Or just a hero. Hopefully I will be able to take them out. Probably not though. I mean if the rest of this game has been any indication on what's going to happen, it's not looking good. Get the magic as that magic. Actually, it looks like I might be able to get that hero kill. That'll be a thousand wasted gold that the Naga did. And it's my tier 3 versus his tier 2 on the right side. Get a chance to stun. So I already have the bouncing projectile. Alright, so I did kill Lady Vosh. Okay. That's definitely an interesting development. Continue with some basic unit upgrades. So that was a thousand gold. That got me a thousand gold closer. That hero might have been sent a little early as well. Summoned a few more units. Do some more basic tower research. Nope, redirection of my hero. Tier 2 spell? 
Okay. So I finally did go tier 3 against his tier 3. That's another hero from them. So that's gonna be another hero from that's gonna be a hero, Magentus, on their top side, I think. To take care of my tier three wave. Ooh, wow. It took a lot of damage on that bottom barracks. Like I said, Magentus. Bouncing projectiles. Wow. I was not expecting that. Alright, so I'm gonna save. Because, uh, I definitely need a hero, I think. For middle. I almost wanted to go tier 4 on the right side. Or on the left side. I do need a hero, I think. Alright, so that's a hero. But this is going to fall. Go tier four, left side. Get my bonus out there. <clears throat> and then I'll start doing unit upgrades again. Might even do the base upgrades first. <clears throat> okay, so they didn't want tier three middle, so having a hero middle is going to be good. I can just push back with a hero every time, maybe in middle. He want the poison spray for his tier 3 units, the corrosive bile I think it is or something something like that. It's also got mild acid for the hydros. I think I need to start doing some tower researches. Magentus is slowly pushing out. So thanks to me killing one of his barracks, he is spawning less units. So that means I'm gaining less gold. Debating for tier 4 on the right side is a good idea. If I just get tier 4 everywhere, get my bonus out and about. Uh, that's a tier 4 middle, so I do need tier 3, at least tier 3 middle. At least I think I do. I might not. <clears throat> so 
Especially because the Serpent Tamer summons the Serpents. Let's go tier 4 on the right side. Doing some nice good damage to his bottom barracks. It's now a thousand life. That's a 2-2 two, two spell. He's basically out of mana now. I am tier 4 on my left and right side. This barracks is still taking damage. Alright. Unless he does an amazing push through middle, that should be game. So it sucks, sucks that we had uh, the lever. Or the two levers, I should say. I mean, they did lead pretty close to each other, so they could have just been disconnects. Normally two units, two players don't lead that close to each other. So I could give them the benefit of the doubt that they were disconnecting. Not on purpose leading, basically. But I should always be pushing on their top on the top side. Should always be pushing on the their bottom. So my right, my left, I should always be pushing. As long as I have a hero in middle, shouldn't be an issue. But if he summons out a special unit going towards middle, I could be in trouble. Kind of. No, because I have a uh, carrion who's pretty strong. Alright, so Nugentis is going to die. Yeah, I got luck. Okay, so she he is going for Ashara. That's why he's going tier 3 on the main base. I will go Carrion middle. Let's go tier 3 and then Carrion. Come on, give me 60 gold. Okay, that uh, cost me a little bit of monies. But I did get Kyrian out there. Kyrian should be able to push back a tier 4. There's a Lady Vash. And an Agentus. That means they're basically out of heroes summoning. I should be able to kill this Tidal Guardian very nicely. Two heroes going bottom really hurts for them. Good for me. I should easily be able to kill this shrine. About levers. I mean, all honesty, Naga probably should have had me had they not lost that top barracks. And if the levers hadn't left, probably would have had me. Because I was having a tough time against them. But that's not how the cookie crumbled. So, yeah, I mean, not much more I can say about that. Just watching the multi-shot. Oh, there's Ashara. Runs behind the barracks because of the units up top. Easily be able to hold middle.
Uh, maybe you'll easily be able to hold middle. I mean, I do have top pushing in and middle's pushing in. The shrine's almost dead. Lost middle, no more barracks remaining. So yeah, it's really my game. Like, I mean, it's not even my game to lose. There's almost no way I can lose. Having two tier four barrackses and a tier three barracks going against zero barracks in Naga and their shrine's almost dead. Like, there's almost no way I can lose. I mean, actually, I think there is all. I think there is no way I can lose. Like, even if Ashara pushes towards me, which I don't think she would. Actually, she she might eventually. But, I mean, look at this. My serpent. My cloud serpent's trying to kill this tower. And might actually do it. Yep. Get a chance. Let's get a chance of something. Let's get a ricochet. Yeah, you're not producing enough uh, units to do anything, so Ashara is just going to sit there. And this bottom lane actually did did actually get reinforcements, so that bottom lane might actually push into me. Chance to evade. Meanwhile, my back line here is slowly getting bigger because I have the two of my tier four units. And my tier four units do you have multi shot. I think that's what I was thinking was that my top lane is just going to come in and kill the base, even if Ashar is pushing. Maybe. Maybe it's got to be my bottom. Nope, they finally got to the tower. Alright, well thanks for watching. Sadly it wasn't an epic game or... I mean, it was still a decent game, but sorry, I mean, not much I can do about two levers. I mean, I'm going to play out the game. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, you guys take care. Till next time. See ya.